I am making my cheesesteak skillet pizza. I'm in. All right? All right, so you're gonna help me out. I've got an iron skillet here, mm -hmm. and I want you to put a little oil in that, mm -hmm. and then stretch out the pizza dough. Oh, great. You can buy your pizza yeah. dough, uh, go right to the pizza place you like and ask to buy their dough. You can get it in the freezer department, just let it thaw and rest at room temperature. And I'm gonna get us started with our peppers oh. and onions. Don't forget that pop too, but pizza dough too. Yeah, you oh, can yeah. Eat that too. I, yeah. I, I think that that's great, yeah. Pizza dough has gotten so much better, the premium. Oh, man. Pizza dough, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's great. All right, so I'm gonna get my oh. peppers going on there, it's too. It's so hot. That's a grill. Really nice and hot. And I'm gonna get my steak going on it. So I'm using the package, you can get this in the butcher department, of the thinly sliced steak. Or if you want to be fancy, like if you're Jeezy, you could pick up a really nice ribeye steak That's and right. hand it to the butcher and say, shave this for me. That's right. I'm, uh -huh. I'm fancy sometimes, too. Yeah. I think <laughs> it's that. made with a ribeye, isn't it, traditionally, Jeff? Traditionally, I think that ribeye might be in quotes at some of the more <laughs> fast food joints, you know, yeah. for your, uh, you it know. It is but, an expensive cut. But it's definitely yeah. Yeah. shaved. You, you don't always. have to. You don't have so to. So nice and thin. I agree And these packages usually come in one pound. We're only going to use a half a pound. Oh. You can, right. um, because we're just putting it on the pizza, there won't be enough space for it. So you can easily go ahead and cook up the whole thing at the same time right. if you want, so oh. that you know you can use it later for a sandwich. It's so fast. Mm -hmm. It's almost it goes done. so fast. Yeah, look at that. And I'm also gonna add a little garlic to oh, my man. peppers and onions. It's like a campfire cookout right here. Mm -hmm. Guys, I used to spend Thanksgiving eating cheesesteaks in Philadelphia. Really? I remember yeah. you doing that. Yeah. I would take the train down, yeah. I'd get my cheesesteak, go back to the hotel, and watch their Thanksgiving Day parade down there. I gotta tell so you, much fun. Atlantic City has some good uh, cheesesteaks too. I they love cheesesteak. Now, when I was a kid, my mom and I, when we'd go shopping at the mall, there was a cheesesteak place at the mall, and I always wanted to get a cheesesteak sandwich. That was right. my big treat. So, and I love pizza, so I thought, why not? Why not combine the two? All right, so season it up, salt and pepper. It needs it too, it needs Yeah, you gotta be generous there. And the great thing is, is that you don't have to cook this completely, because it is gonna cook again in the oven. So I figured I'd try to go in here like they would do at the mall. Mm. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> All right, so this is looking good. Jeff, how's that going? It's good. You know, sometimes a great tip for home, too. If your pizza dough is, like, you know, pulling back in, just let it be for a minute. It needs to relax a little more rather than tearing it open and creating those little holes and pockets. But so whatever you're in, you know, and, and remember, whenever you're doing a cast iron skillet pizza, too much oil, it's going to totally shrink up even quicker because it's slick under there. So you maybe want to put the oil in after you stretch it out. Yeah, All this right. is perfect. It's that good to go. That looks great. And it's gonna get nice and crispy on the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. It's like it fries uh -huh. up in there in that oil. All right, so I'm gonna top it with our peppers and onions. Whoa. Yum. This is gonna be a new thing. Yeah, it's, this, a, thing. it's a thing, right? It's, it's a already thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. And if you feel like that it's getting, you know, more peppers and onions that you want, just save it, because you got all that extra leftover beef. It's Make it like a little taco action. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna chop it with the beef. Put all that on there. So this Everybody is a sauceless pizza. Be loving this. Yeah, it's a oh. sauceless pizza. Wow. You could serve it with a dipping sauce if you liked. Um, you know, you could put some melted cheese as a dipping. It'd be great with a ranch dipping or a marinara dipping. Or just at the end, after you pull it out of the oven, just drizzle that cheese sauce, that orange yes. cheese sauce all over right from the jar. All right, I'm going with mozzarella cheese and provolone cheese. From the jar. I love the provolone. Provolone has that smell oh, you have ooh. to. Yep. Now, if you want to do this in only dirty one dish, you can cook your steak and your peppers in this iron you skillet know, thinking, yeah. and then wipe it out and do it. Okay, so ooh, it's heavy. You're going to go into the oven, 450 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And I've got one in here. I didn't see it. I didn't pee. Already done. Here we go. Oh, the smell of cooked green bell oh, peppers. Is yeah, it's so wondrous. Distinct. Oh, oh baby. Really? There we go. Wow. Looking good, right? Oh, Yummy? Done. Okay, so let's get it out of here. Oh, this is gonna be trouble for me, I know. Hey. See how nice and crispy it is? Oh, right out of there. That mm -hmm. is perfect. Pizza Nista. Yep. And let's get right in here. This is gonna be a thicker crust pizza, which I like because it makes me think more of 
a cheesesteak, having that nice bread action going on. I bet when you were uh, taking your pizza class in Italy, they had no idea you were gonna mash it up and make a I don't think anybody in pizza. Italy's having a cheesesteak pizza. I don't think so. Here we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Uh-huh. And then I like to serve it with oh. either pickled banana peppers or pickled cherry peppers. Yeah. Yay! Yummy! Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, you want to get in here, Oh, too? I'm going to go in here. Look at this. Oh. Can I have a pepper? Yeah, put some pepper on it. Don't burn your mouth, Cheesy. We don't want to hurt that iron oh. shell palate. Cheesy, don't burn yourself. Ooh, that's good. Katie Lee. Some mashups just don't work. <laughs> they just don't. Let's be honest, right? That's true. Sometimes this, you close your eyes, oh, you're so like cheesesteak. You open your eyes, you're like, what? Pizza? <laughs> but it's balanced, mm -hmm. and that hot pepper is hot, and you need it because this is so rich and delectable. I love it.